Hey y'all, this is Suzanne Evans with Suzanne Evans Art or Suzanne Evans My Happy Place Painting. Um, I've had a couple of emails that they wanted to know what tools I use. So I'm using this video to kind of go through some of the tools um, that I, um, fav I guess I favoritize them. But anyhow, uh, I just thought maybe you would enjoy this and um, you can use a lot of kitchen tools it's just if you use the kitchen tools like spatulas or sponges or anything like that be sure be sure not to use them back in the kitchen with acrylic paints um, that is my medium that I use is acrylic paints so with that let's get started Let's see, I'm trying to decide what, I, what I'm going to do first. Um, let's go through my palette knives. I have a set of palette knives that I love. I bought them off Amazon, <clears throat> and they're bigger palette knives. I have some really big ones, too, that I'll show you. But here's my set that I have. These are all these different palette knives that I use. And you can see some of them are missing because I use a lot of them. Let's see. So my favorite ones out of this is going to be this one. Love it. Love it. It gives me a lot of space to spread my paint when I'm trying to do texture. And then I have another one. It's a little bit square. And when you're doing designs, uh, it gives you that, that shape. The other palette knife that I like using this one. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. So you can use anything you have out of the kitchen. I just have palette knives. Then I have the bigger ones. Oh, get these. This is like what you'd spread cake icing with or something. It's pretty cool. Looks like something a baker would use. <laughs> It's a pretty big one, and I use that on all of my uh, paintings that I do. They're like 30 by 30 and things like that. And here's another bigger one. You can put it up next to my head and see how big it is. Number three. Then I have a number five. You can use either end. I like using this end the most. That's a number five. Now these are Master's Touch, um, the brand. These three big ones that I use. This large one that looks like a cake decorator would use is a number 16. So this is a number 16. The other things that I use that I love is spackling knives. So I use a lot of the spackling knives. I also have a bigger one. But I don't know where it is right at this moment. But I use the spackling knives. Next thing I was going to show y'all is the sponges. I use a lot of the sea sponges. You can tell by the way this one looks. So I use sea sponges. Got a lot of different shapes. You can cut these and reuse them. They're awesome to use. Just little round ones. Ah, and here's my big spatula. That's what I use for my bigger, my bigger paintings. I also use chip brushes. You can get these at any hardware store. This is a two inch chip brush. It's got some paint in them. I'll have to get me some more new ones. Um, this is a two inch chip brush. And they're good for doing um, my sprays that I do. Next is it's a synthetic paintbrush. This is one and a half inch. You can get these at Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, any of your hardware stores. That's a one and a half inch. Also have another chip brush that I use that is a three inch. So there is a three inch chip brush. One of the things that my daughter 
my other daughter, my adopted daughter, um, got me was a folk art milk paintbrush. I love this one. It does all of your paintings very, very smooth. It is a plaid two inch, 5.08 centimeter um, milk brush. Milk paint brush. It's awesome. It's like very, very soft. It's awesome to paint with, but it holds a lot of paint. Um, soaks it up um, really, really easy. Other paint brushes that I use, I have a number 16 flat. You can tell I use this one a lot. This is a number 16 flat as well. The bristles are a little bit stiffer, and a lot of my painting, I like them stiff. I don't, I don't want my paint brushes to be um, real thin. One of my other ones that I like, and this one is a real stiff, it's a master's touch, number eight fan. And it's awesome. It has some really stiff bris bristles. I don't like the real thin bristles because it tends to separate with the painting that I do. These are very, very stiff. And that is the number eight Master's Touch fan. Another one that I like to use is, this is a Royal and Lang Nickel number 12 round brush. I use this one a lot in some of my smaller paintings as well. And some of the paints that I like to use, a lot of you um, have watched some of my, my other videos and you'll notice that I don't use like the um, titanium white very much. And this is Master's Touch as well. I like it, sometimes it, it's a little thick for me, so I like using gesso. So I've got Liquitex Gesso. It's what you prime your, your canvases with when you buy the cheaper canvases as well. But I use the liquid um, gesso, the white gesso, for my white because it flows better when I'm doing the sprays. Another white that I like to use is your liquid acrylic. Now this is titanium white. It's Master's Touch as well. It's, a, it's thicker than your gesso, but it's not as thick as... <clears throat> your tubed acrylic. It's just not as thick. Um, when I do textures and things, I do use the titanium white in the tube. Um, now, some of you have asked me as well um, in regards to uh, sealing your paints after they dry. I like using the matte varnish. It's a liquid, and it's by Liquitex as well. It dries really fast and it just it protects your painting from dust and things like that when you want to dust them off um, fading and things like that um, a lot of people a lot of people use the acrylic sealer gloss finish it's real stinky you have to do it outside in a well ventilated area I do not it, it it's non-yellowing, fast-drying, seals and protects for indoor and outdoor projects. Not! It is for outdoor only. Another one that I have used, and this one is for outdoor as well. It says, extremely flammable. It's by Plaid. Clear Acrylic Sealer. I have used that, but I do not like the spray ones. I like the ones that you can... Um, stroke on with a brush. Um, another thing that I use quite often, you can get these at any craft stores, uh, Home Depot, anywhere that sells paints. Um, this is what I use to put the sealant on. It goes on real smooth, but you can get these at Home Depot, Lowe's, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, just about anywhere that sells paint. Another thing I like using is just a regular sponge. Just a regular round sponge. It does soak up your paint, though, so just letting you know ahead of time. 
But those are some of the tools that I like using a lot of. Um, I also have a Filbert brush. This is a number 10. It is the Royal and Langnickel number 10. I do like Filbert brushes. Flat brush, Filbert brush. Uh, you can use anything out of your kitchen that you have. Just like I said before, please do not use them again in the kitchen after you use them with acrylic paint. Not a good idea. Um, the last thing is my water bottle because I always spray my, my canvases down before I ever start painting. So I have just a regular water bottle with tap water. And you don't want to soak your paintings. I stress that and stress that. Do not soak the canvas. You will have all of your paints running. And they're thin. They don't adhere very well. It's just makes them muddy looking. So you just lightly spray your canvas. And paper towels. Plenty of paper towels. Towels. I have a towel. Two towels, actually, that I attach to my easel. Uh with a banana clip. Pretty cool. Works for me. Um, so I guess that's about it. The last thing is if your paint, if you are painting and you start seeing that your paints are drying really fast, um, there is a retardant that that I use sometimes. It's a uh, slow dry blending gel and it's by Liquitex. You can get this at Hobby Lobby. And you just put that on your, the way I use it is I just put that on my canvas before um, the areas that I'm spraying before I start painting um, the sprays. So I just kind of smooth it on there, make it just kind of even, and then it helps the sprays kind of go out evenly. And I guess that's just about it besides my liner brush. Oh, I forgot my liner brush. Script liner brush. Script liner brush. It says three slash O. You can get these at, uh, this is a Master's Touch. I love Master's Touch um, paint brushes. And that's basically all the tools that I use. So if you have any questions, please feel free to email me at SuzanneEvansArt.com <clears throat> at Suzanne Evans Art at gmail.com and I'm also on Facebook at Suzanne Evans My Happy Place Painting and YouTube Suzanne Evans My Happy Place Painting so if you have any questions please comment um, below I will have um, a lot of the tools listed below this video as well and please like share and subscribe and you'll get a notification whenever I get any of my other videos up and running. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.